Hi, it's the Constant Angler. Um, thought I'd do a little video today um, telling you what my top wrasse lures were in 2019. I have lots of lures, <coughs> excuse me, but uh, I found these to be the biggest catches for me last year. They were consistently caught and uh, I have a lot of confidence in them. Of course, this will change every year, uh, but this is a little thread I think I might do every year just to see how things progress and change. So, let's start off with these. And if you've watched my videos grass fishing this year, you can't have failed to notice these pink lures. They're a pink Senko. <clears throat> They're uh, what they call laminated, which is two colored. They're pale pink on the bottom and a brighter pink on the top. I think they're three and a quarter inches long and um, they're made, I get the source them off AliExpress um, it's coming harder to do so it's a good job I bought a few um, they're made by a company or they're branded as water snipe lures uh, it's even a web address there you might be able to see might help you source some uh, yeah I've got countless wrasses on these this year they're a nice texture, they're a good size uh, they seem a fairly tough bait. They land a few fish before uh, they've had it. And um, yeah, bit of a revelation this year, these pink Senkos. Uh, if we look at the next one along, <coughs> these have been a favourite for years. Total confidence in these uh, lures. Uh, buy them from AGM. Uh, there, there you go, there's a label. Four inch stick where watermelon citrus, eight pieces. Cheap. Affordable, excellent catch fish. What what more can I say about these? Uh, they're also a, a laminate. If I take one out of the packet, pop it down there for a minute. Um, you can see the citrus belly with the uh, watermelon with looks like a black fleck in it. Um, yeah, they just work. They uh, send the fish nuts. Particularly good in the winter, I find, or colder months, but work any time of year. So, yeah, they would have been in my bag for the last, I don't know, five years, however I'd been, long I'd been able to source these from AGM. Um, then we get to my favourite, favourite bait, uh, which is... A copy of a sexy impact. You've seen it on my videos. You probably some of you, if you've seen them already, you've fed up with me saying it. I don't. Um, but they're made by a company called Max Catch. You can buy them off a chap on eBay. Very nice chap. Good price. Or source them from AliExpress yourself. You'll have to wait a lot longer to get them though, and they're a bit harder to find now. Uh, probably because I've been telling all you guys about them, and you probably bought them. I don't know. But you can get them in various colours, from a shrimpy colour to a laminated smoke, shad colour, watermelon colour, red sort of, I call it strawberry jam colour, and then um, a black colour, this happens to be the watermelon colour, and you'll see there's the profile of the lower fatter body with a slimmer tail with like an, I call it like an adder's tail on the end, or rattlesnake tail, that's what I want about, not adder, and a recess for hooking. They're oily, they're slimy, not overly slimy um, they have some sort of smell to them I don't know what it is I think it's a very faint squiddy smell but the fish seem to love these the oiliness of the bait helps with the hooking properties it helps your hook go through ie the lure to slide down the the gape of the hook and expose the hook point easier and I'm not sure what they're trying to imitate I think they imitate a lot of things um, depending which color you're using but Great bait, my favourite wrasse bait at the moment. So then we're moving to a craw. I have lots of craw craws, of different types of craws. Uh, something I'm going to experiment a bit more with this year, fishing craws. I've become so obsessed with, obsessed in the last year or two with Senkos and these stick baits that uh, I've sort of neglected them a bit. But there are days that this Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss Junior and this one's in a big Texan colour, so it's orange on the belly, brown on the back. To me, it's like a kelp colour to me. Um, 
this has caught me lots of rice this year. It's, you know, if I turn to a crawl bait, this is the one I, I've turned to. It's a swimming, swimming, not sh more uh, like bait, crawl. So it's not going to pop up and they re these will stick out, but it's not um, got floating sort of claws on it. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's not going to sit up there as well as those. It's more about the, the action of these flippers, these claws, appendages as it goes along, and they flap around. And as you're doing your retrieve up and down and up and down, uh, you get lots of action with them, and, and the rats seem to love them. Uh, I've got them in other colours, watermelon and uh, a blue colour. Well, they're great lures. If you find some on eBay, buy them. They don't seem to be around that much anymore. Um, and then you won't see much because I didn't really start my channel until September but in the summer I use um, grubs a lot more and uh, this is the uh, or shads a lot more sorry this is the AGM paddler uh, I think that's three and a quarter inches long it's in watermelon I think it could be green pumpkin um, it's got flex in it it's just the right size it's bite size for ass it's tough enough that you know you get a few fish out of it uh, it has a beautiful tail action it's a thin tail on it so uh, surprisingly the ass don't bite them off that often well not for me anyway and it takes very little weight to actually get that action out of it it's something you need to think of when you're using shads it might look beautiful but if they've got too thick a tail uh, it won't get the tail working on the drop when you've lifted it and dropped it uh, so easily so you know this has been reliable for me I've, I've used this for years now and it just catches um, they do other colors as well I do have other colors but I seem to return to this most of the time uh, it'd be lovely if they did a sort of shad color um, it's a very good perch lure too and uh, a new one in this box my box this year is I have a mate Mike who uh, give me a shout out his YouTube channel and Facebook channel uh, Lure Fishing for Rass on Facebook and Lure Fishing for Rass UK on YouTube I've uh, been doing some videos with him this year be hopefully uh, last year be hopefully doing a lot more this year he loves grubs as lures they're his favorite um, AGM grubs tiki grubs I think they're called uh, for, apparently they don't make them anymore which is uh, causing him some concern I found these Meredith uh, soft baits um, work for me this is in a sort of uh, shrimpy sort of color I've got them in several different colors the traditional colors green pumpkin black sort of reds uh, lovely tail action on them as they ripple along and, and move They're just about the right sort of size ideal really they're sort of four and a half inches something like that and um, yeah the rats seem to love them so it's something I did a little bit more of last year because I saw how well uh, Mike was getting on with his grubs and uh, thought do you know what I'll get some myself and uh, yeah they've been working I've been very impressed with them so we'll continue to use them in the coming year more than last year so you don't have to use these exact ones you can use uh, other companies uh, lures um, favorite source for me in the UK is AGM if I haven't said it before I do buy from other places um, as you, you can see I get from Aliexpress and eBay as well but um, if I was to just start uh, ras fishing you can't go wrong by buying from AGM some of these lures I mentioned here and you'll see crawls and all these things on uh, other th different variations different companies uh, or AGM's versions of uh, these things that you see in front of me they work some of these work better than others um, very often um, it's the action you put into the bait that uh, drives the fish mad so they were my favorites last year uh, let's see what they are this coming year 2020 so my top rassler hope that helped you somewhat and give you an insight into why I use these uh, thanks for watching again uh, please like and subscribe hit that notification bell